Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke, and today is a big one. We are taking on the eighth gym. That's right, today is the final gym challenge of this run. Win or lose, this is going to be a big one. Uh, if we do lose, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of this run. I believe in our team, though. I did go ahead and get them leveled up to level 48. No major changes, no no party changes, nothing like that. And I don't even believe any move changes. Uh, and so I'm not going to do a team recap or anything like that. We are just going to head straight into the gym now. Oh, man, <laughs> that's annoying. Uh, now, keeping in mind here, guys, hopefully the gym won't take that long. Uh, whether we do win or lose and if we do make it through we can start heading towards victory road now Obviously, that's a big undertaking. We probably won't get through all of victory road today But I think we can kind of speed up our way through some of these battles uh, And just do our best to get through this as quickly as possible now once it gets to the gym leader Obviously Giovanni we gotta we gotta take our time with that one But I think at this point we can kind of just go for it uh, And we should be okay. So uh, definitely need to get some better moves on some of our mons here. We've talked about that for quite some time, and unfortunately, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but... Ooh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Uh, actually, I take that back. We did learn one more, one new move, Zap Cannon. Uh, nothing too crazy, of course, but that is a new move for Lucky here. Um, let's change here. Going to Degs. Uh, oh, we're confused. Okay, we got him though. Awesome. Uh, and really, again, these little trainers, I'm not that worried about them. We're just going to take them down one by one, and we should be fine, uh, assuming we don't go too crazy, of course. So uh, we'll take down a handful of them. We'll go heal up, and then hopefully we can make our way to the, the uh, Giovanni fight. So fingers crossed. Uh, I'm very hopeful. Um, let's mudshot here. Uh, let's maybe swap. Uh, let's get Pugstar. Oops, not Shadow. Uh, Shadow is very good, and we certainly want to use him, but I don't think we need to yet. Uh, let's Petal Dance here. We should be okay. Easy. Uh, let's get Degs in. Oh, it's Shadow Tag. Oh, no. Uh, let's Giga Drain. Awesome. Snapped out pretty quickly there. Petal Dance. We should be able to take this out, no problem. Awesome. Very good. Level 49 on uh, on Pugstar there. We should probably swap out our lead because, again, level 50 is the level cap, guys. So we don't want to go over that before hitting Giovanni. Uh, certainly that could be a problem. So let's just get some uh, some nice, nice little hits in here. Uh, I'm actually going to SD a couple times here because there's literally nothing it can do to us. So, um... Easy. <laughs> I love Shadow so much. Did it? Oh, okay. Hold up. Uh, is that part ghost type? Did I mess up there? Probably. Let's be honest. Uh, let's go here. Thundershock. Oof. Okay, we're good. I think now's a good time to heal up. What do you guys think? Um, do do. So we've taken down a handful of trainers already and we're only three minutes in. I know I'm speeding up through some of these trainers, guys, but again, I don't think we're going to run anything, run into anything too crazy. It's really the Giovanni fight that I am concerned about. Uh, so we'll do the best we can to make it through the gym fairly quickly. I would love to get partially through Victory Road today, if not all the way through. Uh, I don't think we can make it all the way through, but we'll we'll do the best we can. Honestly, if we get through the gym fast enough, I may just say we're going to have a long episode today and make it all the way to the Elite Four if we can. Um, dude, why? Uh, my uh, response time on my keyboard is quite low, apparently. All right. There we go. Awesome. All right, let's do it. Um, oh, we can't go that way. All right. Uh, do do. Don't actually know the best way to go, but we'll just pretend like this is it. Oh, it totally is it. All right. Uh, who is out front? Shadow? Do we level him up to level 50? I don't think so. I think we need the challenge. I may live to regret those words, but let's do it, guys. This is the final gym fight. No speed up. We got this. I believe in us. Come on. <laughs> Only five Pokemon. <laughs> All right, definitely a strong start. Um, 
I'm gonna try attack, actually. Uh, I do want to SD, but this thing is obviously a status ailment kind of mon, and I want to get that secondary effect if we can. Thank goodness they missed. All right, let's try attack. That should take you down. Uh, and that's the first Pokemon taken care of. Now we'll see obviously what comes out next. A little worried about what it could be. Um, if we can get another level on Shadow, I'll feel very good. A Whizcash. I'm going to SD. I don't know that this thing has a lot for us. Oh, Earthquake is pretty good. Oh, please don't take Shadow down. Okay. I'm going to try attack. Again, we have Serene Grace on uh, Shadow here, so there's a very good possibility we get a secondary effect. Uh, but with the SD, we may not even need it. We're taking Pokemon down right and left here. We also have the Shell Belt. Uh, and so we are going to be healing up quite a bit each time we deal some damage. There's the extra level on Shadow. That is huge. Can we get the Shadow Sweep? That's what I want to know. There's the Ace. All right, guys, this is the Ace Mon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try attack. We've already got one SD up. This probably isn't going to take it out, um, but it should do a decent chunk. Shadow! You are a monster! Oh my gosh! Guys, is Shadow gonna get the sweep? We avoided using Shadow, like, all through the Sevi Islands solely because we knew how good Shadow can be. I didn't want to overuse... I, I, I didn't want to just, you know, sweep the, the Sevi Islands with Shadow. I felt like that was a little unfair. And, to be honest, we needed to level up some of our team. But guys, Shadow is amazing. Oh my gosh, Shadow's gonna sweep. We got one more Mon. Mighty Anna? Please. Yeah, and it's only level 45. We, I think we did it. Eighth gym badge added to the layout. Shadow sweeping the entire gym. That is amazing. I am so stoked by that. The Earth badge is officially ours. We have taken down the entire gym challenge. Guys, that's one le one thing left to do. We've got the Elite Four in front of us. We are heading straight there. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm so stoked by that. Um, really quickly, let's check the Elite Four level cap. It looks like 54 is the first one. TM26, excellent. It is not going to be Earthquake, most likely, but let's actually check it uh, just to see. Could be something great, um, and we certainly could use it. Muddy Water, meh, it's okay. It's not a bad move. Uh, the accuracy is not great. Let's head to the Pokemon Center, and then let's head for Victory Road. Holy crap, guys. It's been eight minutes, and we are through the gym. That is insane. Uh, we did avoid a handful of battles in the gym, actually, so that's not that surprising. And we, of course, sped up, but let's do it here, too. Uh, nope, don't need to. I am so stoked. Uh, let's head for it. Uh, is there a rival battle? Yeah. All right, we got a rival battle. Let's do it. I feel strong. I'm not stressed. I think we can do it. I forget what the rival starter is. It's been a long time since I've... Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to SD. Let's try attack. It's got D-Rage. Okay. Slash. Done. Try attack. Done. Try attack. Done. <laughs> it's a big red delete button. All right, this is actually maybe not so easy. Ooh, uh, we should be fine though. Yeah, easy. All right, let's uh let's go heal up real quick before taking on Victory Road. Only because the the PP in particular is what I'm worried about. I don't want to uh, lose out just because we don't have enough moves. Um, I really wish we had gotten some PP maxes or something along those lines. That would have been excellent, but. Let's get a different Mon out front here. Um, we'll throw we'll throw Brody out front. Our starter is going to lead the way through Victory Road. Man, I'm so impressed with Shadow. We just breezed through both Giovanni and the rival fight without even breaking a sweat. 
Not even a problem. Numel, awesome. All right. Guys, this is such an exciting moment. We are... <laughs> I, I'm honestly surprised we have not had to restart at any point during this run. I'm really hoping we can make it through and just win. But obviously, there's a lot that can happen between here and the end of this run. So let's be very cautious. Uh, there's the Thunder Badge. Oh, this is so epic. I, I love this section of the game where you have to present your badge as you pass through each of these little gates. Um, there's actually... Technically, this is a uh, an encounter as well, so we'll see if we get something great here. Um, now, again, I will most likely be restructuring the team before we go into the Elite Four, assuming we get there. So do keep that in mind, of course, um, that there will be some party changes. I think there's a few already that I, I am thinking about. The only reason I'm not making them now is because we have HMs on some of our Mons and I'd rather not have to restart that. Um, but let's go ahead and Thunder Wave this Togetic. We'll go ahead and try and catch it. Uh, it's certainly not a bad Mon to have. Um, not amazing, of course, but that's fine. We can pack. Oh, it's got Wish. Uh, let's try for a, whoops. Let's try for an Ultra Ball here. Nice. All right, got him. Uh, let's see, who do we want to name this after? <laughs> um, this is a bit of an over, overachieving name, but we're going to name you Storm. Uh, this time for Shocking Ice Storm, who is a fairly recent subscriber. Uh, Shocking Ice Storm, thank you so much for being a part of this run. Really do appreciate it, my friend. It's a, it's an absolute pleasure to see so many awesome new people joining this little community we have here. Um, obviously at the time of recording this, um, this is my third episode today that I'm recording. Uh, at the time of recording this, we actually are very, very near the 1700 mark, and I'm hoping by the time it goes out, it might actually be there. So uh, we will see. But here we go, guys. This is victory road time. Uh, and of course, we get an encounter right away. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Um, well, I suppose we can. All right. What's it? Oh. Hey, guys. I hate this thing. All right. <laughs> One of my least favorite Pokemon of all time is Pelipper and Wingle. I don't know why. I just think they're so bad. Do we have? Yes. Awesome. That's going to ease up on things quite a bit. Let's go ahead and use strength uh, and we'll get this boulder where it needs to be. Let's not go out. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Great. Uh, and guys, I really do think I, I think the move is just to push through and try and make it all the way. We didn't actually need to push that boulder, but that's fine. I think the goal is to just push all the way through Victory Road today, regardless of time. I don't think we need to worry too much about anything else. This is the this is technically the next to last episode if we can make it through. That's crazy. Uh, we are going to avoid some trainer battles here. I don't think we need to take them on. And so <clears throat> Especially with the rare candies and things like that. I'm not going to worry about them. Um, oh, wow. All right. Uh, I didn't think we would run into anything here, but there we go. All right. Let's, uh, oops. let's use strength. There we go. All right. Uh, let's actually... Um, We'll swap Shadow out here, uh, just because that's probably going to avoid the most number of uh, Pokemon. Hey, let's use another Repel. Awesome. Uh, really happy I picked those up. I totally forgot I did, and that's such a such a big game changer. TM1, lovely kiss. Probably not a super useful move, but that's okay. Head over this way. I uh, I don't honestly remember every detail about how to get through here, so we're going to figure that out together a little bit as we go, but that's fine. Let's go here. Um, I don't care enough about that item. At this point, like, as far as items go, we don't really have any encounters left to get, uh, so I kind of don't care to pick them up. Um, granted, I mean, if they're TMs or something, that would be awesome, but... Uh, so I think what we need to do is take this all the way to the left. So let's do that. Yeah, um, good. All right, cool. 
I think this is what we need to do. There's an item over there too. We'll grab that. Let's go grab it real quick. Ooh, that's really good. Oh my goodness. Randomized TMs are going to be very helpful through this. Again, this is an area where I've saved as many TMs as possible uh, because I want to not one. I don't want to waste them on a mon that may end up dying, but two, I want to give ourselves the best shot when it comes to um, uh, getting through the Elite Four. And some of the some of that may include some some very powerful TMs. So we'll we'll do a, a check on that, of course, um, as we get through here. But let's see. All right, so I believe we have to do that. Can't go through there. Let's do this. I don't know where this might need to go. Uh, let's go down one. Uh, so this should... Oh, we're going to have to fight this guy. That's fine. Um, we're just going to try attack. Let's just make it through here. Pretty quickly and pretty easily. Level 52. Um... Nice. Voids and Fang being awesome. All right. Uh, I don't need that item, so I'm not going to worry about it. Our boulder didn't go there. There's our boulder. All right. Would love to use strength. Thank you so much. Uh, let's get Max Repel back up. Awesome. Um, and I think this is like basically the way out. <laughs> like, I think we're pretty close at this point, uh, which is great. Just kind of avoid them. Um, and I think this is the way out. And we avoided them too. All right. It's only it's it's only 17 minutes. <laughs> it's only been 17 minutes and we're at we not only took down our rival and the gym, we are all the way through Victory Road. Granted, we skipped so much in Victory Road, uh, but we're here. So um I don't actually know. <laughs> we're really ahead of schedule at this point. I don't need to go back into Victory Road because we just have rare candies. I mean, let's uh, let's maybe take a peek at some items. Of course, uh, we can we can sell a few things. We are gonna need to stock up on uh, quite a few things, so let's just sell some of the stuff we know we don't need. Uh, can we sell this? We don't need to. Whoops, not what I meant. Would love to sell. Um. I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm so sorry, guys. So what we're going to do here uh, is basically unload all of our items that are not items we would normally like, like rare candies. Obviously, we're not going to uh, to throw out, but um, everything else, essentially, that is not going to be a useful held item. We're going to just go ahead and ditch uh, that's going to maximize our money, which means we can maximize our full restores. Uh, which we will probably want through this. I'm going to hold on to that because I know we do have a poly toad or a poly wrath, excuse me, um, available. We do have a PP max there as well. So I'm probably going to hold on to that. That could be really helpful. Let's get rid of those super repels. Excellent. Charcoal we'll hold on to. Uh, XP share we don't need. Let's get rid of that. Deep sea scale raises the special defense stat might hold on to that. We'll hold on to that. This shoal salt. Ugh. We don't need the lucky egg. Um, as much as I really like the lucky egg. We'll hold on to that just in case. We already have one full restore. Excellent. Let's get rid of you. We'll keep the moonstone, though I don't think we need it. Uh, let's look at our TM case here, because there are definitely some that we are not going to use. So, uh, lovely kiss. Uh, accuracy is only 75. I'm going to ditch it. Comet Punch, maybe. Uh, definitely not Skull Bash. I hate two turn moves. We'll keep that just in case. Uh, let's get rid of Assist. False Swipe also. Definitely don't need it. Gust. Not going to use Gust, if I'm honest. Um, Growth I may hold on to just in case. Taunt, maybe. Skill Swap, no. Uh, we have two of them. I can sell another. Uh, muddy, muddy water I'll keep. Explosion, definitely not. Uh, this is all the stuff that I normally do in between episodes, guys, but we, we have some room here, so I'm showing you guys how this all works. It's not very exciting, but here we are. Um, I'm actually not going to keep Confusion uh, or Peck. Definitely don't need either of those. Okay. So, uh, I would love to buy. Let's grab... 
essentially as many. We probably don't need that many. Let's uh, let's grab 45. Um, and we'll use what we're going to do here, guys, is uh, we can't revive, obviously, but we can use full restores in between episode or in between Elite Four members. So that's essentially what we're looking at here. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a peek at our Mons here. Um, again, we've got some really, really good options. Breloom is the one that really sticks out to me as a bit of an obvious uh, move. We definitely need to look at the move set, um, but if we shift here, uh, we can place that, uh, and then we actually can get rid of... Walker might be really good. Um, we definitely need some TMs, of course, here, but that static ability is pretty solid. Hmm. So we're doing all this on uh, a bit of a live section. Um, all right, so we'll place you here for now. Whoops. Um, let's take a look at our party. OK, so Shadow is obviously our sweeper. Our physical sweeper is 100 percent there. I don't think we have to worry about that. Uh, Walker being a ground type is an immunity um, to any electric types, which I think is probably worth having. The only trick is we do we really want to make sure we've got some good TMs there, so we'll double check that. Um, Brody is our starter and our legendary. I think the only other option we really have is Celebi, and while Celebi is great, uh, we I think the uniqueness of the typing that Brody has, albeit the moveset's not great, is probably worth keeping. Um, we can take the rare candy off of uh, Crawl Daddy here. The water type. What other water types do we have? We have Slowpoke, which I actually really like. Uh, and then, of course, we have Poliwhirl, uh, as well as Octillery. So we actually have a few options there. I could take a look at that. Um, we also do have that Slack Off, which we could evolve and just see what it, what the uh, ability actually is. It's obviously a very strong Pokemon, but we do already have two normal types on the field. So I don't know that I want to do that. I'm holding Lucky. Sorry. Um, so I really think the only thing we could potentially swap out here is Crawdaddy, but I kind of like the typing. Um, so anything that's super effective here, we should be able to swap into Brody to take down. So I feel pretty good about that, actually. Um, so we'll I, let's let's do uh, let's do a little bit of TM. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's we don't have a fire type, so that's actually pretty important for us to uh, keep track of. Again, static is the ability. Let's see, special attack and attack. So we're actually a mixed attacker, which is huge. Uh, that allows us to use basically any TMs we want on our walker here, which I think is really good because we can throw a flamethrower on. Oh, we can't. Oh, no. OK, um, that's OK. I actually this might be better <laughs> uh, than Zap Cannon. Because uh, Zap Cannon is not a great move. Uh, it's very easy to mess with it, and I'm not super into that. Um, so let's go ahead and teach Flamethrower here. Uh, Crush Claw is a pretty high accuracy move. And he can learn it. Uh, Crush Claw we did actually have on Shadow at one point, but I think obviously it's going to do some work here. Um, lowers the defense. That's pretty solid. Go ahead and do that. Excellent. Extra sensory could be interesting and you can learn it. That's actually really good. Um, we'll get rid of thrash. I'm not a huge fan of thrash from a uh, from the standpoint of obviously it, it could be a bit of a problem for us. So toxic stall. Is that worth it? Let me see what Crawdaddy has here. Toxic Stall on Crawdaddy should be kind of interesting, actually. I don't know. I don't love it. Um, and obviously we do need to level up some mods here, too, so do keep that in mind. Meteor Mash, I'm fine. Spark, um, not great. Outrage. Also not great. OK, um, so I think at this point, then it's all about leveling up the team. 
Uh, and I'm gonna do that in between episodes, guys. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna end the episode here. We, in between episodes, are gonna get everybody up to the level 54 level cap. That is the level cap for this first Elite Four member. I'm debating on whether I wanna level up in between or not. We'll maybe take that uh, and play with that as we go through, but I wanna look at what moves we might learn on any of our Pokemon that we've added. Uh, and then, of course, I'll do a final team recap at the start of the next episode, and the next episode is going to be the end of the game. Regardless of what happens, we're either going to make it through the Elite Four together, or we're going to fail the run. I hope, I really, really hope that we can make it through. I do think our team is quite solid. I need to make sure I update the layout and everything like that as we go through. Hopefully I've already done that, but I feel pretty good about it. So let's hope we can do this together. I can't thank you all enough for the amazing support on this series, guys. Next episode's a big one. Definitely stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much.